guys, welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today we're doing these gorgeous little false lashes, lash application, lash tutorial, whatever you want to call it. That's what we're doing today. We're putting on some false lashes. The reason I'm making this video is because my mom texted me the other day, hey, where's your lash video? I said, what lash video? And she said, how to put on fake lashes. I said, I don't have one. So here I am. This one's for you, Madda. That's for my mom. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to talk about it too much. Let's just get right into it, okay? Thanks for being here, guys. I'm at work right now. I'm on a little break. This is my little treatment room. So we're just going to get right into it. So today, these are my little lashes. I wish I could tell you where I got these from. I wish I could tell myself because I want to order more. These are actually in my makeup kit at work. Um, let's just go through real quick, talk about what you're going to need lashes. This little tool is absolutely amazing. If you don't have something like this, grab yourself some tweezers. Then lash glue. I love this duo glue in dark. This one is like a little squeezy tube, but they do have some that are like, you pull it out and it's got a little applicator that you can swipe onto your lash. Those are also great. I actually prefer those when I'm using it on clients. The only thing with those glues, the duo ones at least, is that they are incredibly strong so they're kind of hard to get off I like ease sometimes and I don't have watery eyes so I don't mind having something that's a little bit easier to get off some scissors because you're gonna need to trim your lashes bit of mascara I have a black eyeliner this is totally optional and I think that's it so let's get started first thing I'm gonna apply a little bit of mascara so I'm just gonna put a super light layer of this all over the lashes it's pretty much just so that the lash, the false lash, matches a little bit better with my natural lashes. If you're a blondie, you may need to put a little bit more mascara on, but try not to get it chunky or too thick or anything because you really don't want much mascara on when you're doing false, false lashes, unless you're doing half lash, but that's not what this video is. Okay, cool. So while that's drying, let's get into the lashes. So guys, don't ruin your lashes. Um, these are a little bit of a thicker band. I don't know if you can kind of tell if maybe if you're super new to lashes, you really don't know what I'm talking about, but the band is the bit that actually holds the hairs onto the lash. So this band is a bit thick. You can see that it's quite dark, so it's not going to be as fragile as some of the ones that are super thin bands. Those ones you have to be super careful with when you take them off. I like to use like the, this part of my finger to roll them off, like gently pull them by kind of a lot of hairs at once so that you're not pulling them by any end. If you pull them by any end, it's likely that you're going to rip off some of the hairs and you ruin the lashes before you even get a chance. Next, I always go through and I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but there's like little teeny bits of excess glue on here from the packaging. So I'm just going to take those bits off. Be careful because you can rip the hairs off. Just don't rip the hairs off. All right, take it easy. We're going to size the lashes. So what we want is Depending on how long the hairs on the lashes are, you're going to need to pay attention to the inner corner here. So when I put this lash on, if I close my eyes and it's touching this inner corner here, it might not bother you for the first few minutes, but it will bother you. It's going to cause the lash to kind of the band to poke into your eye or even the hairs poke into your eye every time you blink and it's going to be itchy and it's just going to be uncomfortable. So we want to avoid that. And obviously try not to get the tear duct. So I'm going to start like where my lashes start. I'm just going to lay this down and see how much I need to cut off. So I need to cut off quite a bit at the end there. And it, personally, I always cut at the end because those are where the longer hairs are. We obviously don't want to cut these shorter hairs here because then it won't flow as well. But what I am going to do is cut here. There's just a little bit of extra band with no hairs on it. So I'm going to just chip that little bit off with my little scissors. And then and just a little bit on the outer corner here. This is going to be tailored to your eye shape, your eye size, all that. And just keep in mind, start 
by taking off just a little bit and then you can take off a teeny bit more, a teeny bit more if you need more, but once you cut the lash, you've cut the lash and it's just gonna get more complicated. Okay, I think that size works for me, so I'm gonna do the other lash. A tip I have for you is that when you're picking out the right lash, pay attention to your eye shape. For me, I like the ones that are longer on the end, so they start small here and they get longer towards the end because that gives me more of a lifted look. If you want really round looking eyes, you can get lashes that are maybe longer right in the center and then they kind of are shorter on both sides. Just just go based of, of your eye. Um, you may have to get a few and test them out. Another tip is when you're cutting your lashes, just make sure that when you cut them, you cut off enough so that the lash isn't gonna end too low because if the lash hairs end too low, that's gonna make your eye look droopy and that's kind of the opposite of what we wanna do, right? So we're gonna start getting these on our eyes here. I'm gonna take a little bit of glue on my knuckle. This is, I swear I watched a YouTube video like 15 years ago on how to apply lashes and this is how the girl did it and I've been doing it like this ever since. I don't do it for clients just because I use that, the, a different applicator for my lashes with clients, but this is how I do it for myself all the time. So I'm just gonna get a little bit right on that band. I hope you guys can see this well. I don't want it to be chunky or anything, and I'm gonna avoid getting it on the actual hairs, just on the band, right? So I'm gonna put this down for maybe like a minute, and that's gonna let the glue dry down a little bit and get a bit tacky. So this would usually be when I would do my lipstick or my lip liner or like some other step. Another very important tip for your lashes is do the rest of your makeup first. So I never do powders after I do my lashes because whenever you're doing those powders, you might not realize, but there could be fallout going all up in the air from the brush, swiping it everywhere, and that's gonna get in the lashes and it's just not gonna look good. I say do your lashes very last step. That's what I do. That or lipstick I do and obviously those, it doesn't matter. Okay, so there is a sweet spot when you apply this. The spot right, right in between your lid and your lashes. You can't see it from above, but if you're ever doing this on a friend, you're gonna notice there's this, there's kind of like a pocket where your natural, where the skin on your lid folds in a tiny bit. That is the sweet spot. What I'm gonna do is slowly, I try and lay this down at the inner corner, and I'm gonna get it as close to the lashes as I can, if not on the lashes. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my little tool to kind of shimmy it back all the way to that lash line and then we're going to go back in here and we're going to press this onto the skin i haven't done a regular lash in ages but i'm so proud of myself for how well i just applied that if you have a thinner band lash you may have a little bit of a harder time when after you apply it, you might notice you close your eyes and it's like a little squiggly or like your skin's being pulled a little funny. If that happens, it's fine. Just take it off and replace it or just let it be because who cares? And what I'm doing now is using these flat bits here to pinch together my natural nut lash and the false lash. This is another reason you don't want to make your mascara too thick is because when you do this, it might clump your lashes, your false lashes. It just adds a little bit of stability here. We're just gonna pop that right on the same way. And the reason you want your glue a bit tacky is because if it's not, then it's not gonna stay where you want it to. Like the lash will kind of slide all around and that's obviously not what we're looking for. We want it to stick right in place when we put it down. Gorge. Okay, so I'm just gonna wipe this glue off because if not, I'll forget and I'll get it on my clothes. I cannot tell you how many items of clothing I've gotten this black glue on and it doesn't come off. So maybe you want a clear glue because <laughs> if you're messy. At this point, you can kind of like push them up how you want. Just like check them out a bit, make sure that they look how you like them. These lashes are so pretty. I'm so annoyed I don't know what they are. And so the last thing that I like to do sometimes, not all the time, is add a little bit of black liquid eyeliner. So because these have quite a thick band, 
you can see where that hard stop is, where the lash is. So I'm just gonna put a teeny bit here, just the softest amount. Right in the inner corner, and it just kind of fuses it a little bit. And then another thing you can do is, if you have any gaps, putting eyeliner is also good if you didn't get them perfectly even like maybe one is a little bit further out if you have a thick band it's going to be a little bit obvious i'm a perfectionist though so for me that would drive me crazy so you can just use a little eyeliner to bring in a bit another thing that you can do is take a little bit of this eyeliner if you haven't gotten the false lash as close to the natural lashes as you would have liked you might notice that you have some gaps that you can see the skin and it might look the lot make the lash look a little bit wonky you can just take a little bit of this eyeliner and you can kind of tight line with it and you can just kind of color in i don't know if i'm explaining that very well but tight lining is so good for that if your eyes get watery when you're trying to put your lashes on you're gonna have to stop <laughs> don't bother it's not gonna work your glue is just gonna continuously get wet just take it off dab the area dry with a q-tip or a cotton bud and then start again all i can say is practice makes perfect honestly like you just you're just gonna have to try a couple times don't get stressed okay do it do it one evening before you shower keep keep trying them on see if they work see what works for you also these lashes are reusable don't throw them away after the first use keep your little case just give them a clean with some water or micellar water and put them right back in the case and you're good to go for next time don't waste that money, girl. I hope you guys like this video. I hope the tips and tricks were helpful to you. If you have any questions or want any extra advice or help, go ahead and send me a message on Instagram. But before you do that, make sure that you click the like button if this video helped you and subscribe to my channel so you can see more like this. And that's it. Thank you guys so much if you made it to the end. I love you a million and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.